There are many types of winter precipitation, including snow, sleet, freezing rain, and rain. And that's when we have a lot of different columns of air in the atmosphere that can change up that precipitation type. So with rain, we actually have the clouds aloft producing snow, but it falls into a warm layer that's actually above the freezing mark and it will fall to the surface in a liquid form. With sleet, this one is where we have snow that is being produced by the clouds and then it falls into a shallow area of warm air and this warm air is called an inversion. So it's, it's a shallow area, but it's just enough warm enough for the snowflake to actually melt a little bit or all the way. And then as it falls into the area that's actually below freezing, it will then refreeze as more of an icy piece of pre precipitation. The next one is freezing rain. We have snow that is being formed aloft and then we have a much bigger area of warm air above the surface. And when that snowflake falls through, it will melt completely through this warm air. But then at the surface, we have temperatures that are at or below the freezing mark. So when that liquid precipitation falls on those surfaces that are below the freezing mark or at the freezing mark, it will then freeze on those surfaces. Very dangerous part of a winter precipitation. And of course we have snow and this is when most of the column of air is at or below the freezing mark. We can still have temperatures at the surface that are several degrees above the freezing mark, but most of the column of air has to be below or at the freezing mark for that snow to make its way to the surface.